Hello my friends, what's going on? It's me Tangosis and we're here today for another Warframe video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the different methods of sabotage for Reactor 2.0, the ship sabotage. Should be quite fun, let's hop right into it. So, in total, there are three different methods of sabotage involving overheating the place, pulling the place, and magmatizing the place. So I thought I'd do a video showing off all the different methods that you can do to sabotage the place. You can always just, I don't know, run Rhino, maybe press 4 to destroy the place. Oh, look at that, that actually worked. Boom! And look at that, we just overheated the place. Alright, so the first method of sabotage I'm going to show you how to do is actually overheating the place. To do this, you just need to take the power cell there, the, this one, the core fuel cell, and plug that bad boy into the reactor. Once you've done that, when the reactor is restarted, this will trigger a meltdown. As Lotus just said, I'll be triggering a meltdown. So to do that, all you gotta do is just to hack the thing and just destroy the coolant cells like I showed you. In fire sabotage, you have to hack this thing to open a pair of blast doors. Once you've done that, you're essentially complete the mission. So you can head on down to the exit whenever you want. Right, so the second method of sabotage I'm going to be showing you is actually freezing the place. To do this, you just need to extract either one or both of the coolant cells, and you put the coolant cell in the actual thing there. Once that's done... As Lotus says, you just have to hack the console thing again, once we've done that. You see we have to actually defend the place now. All you really need to do is now just to defend the place till 100% and that's essentially you finish freezing the place. I'll probably cut back or do a jump cut sorry whenever the place is actually fully frozen so I'll see you in a bit. As you can see now that I've actually frozen the place, look at that, it's all icy and cold. Quite fun, just make sure you bring the wrap up warm now. So that's essentially it for the freezing method. So I'll be cutting back again in a few moments to show you how to actually magmatize the place. For a final method of sabotage, the how to magmatize the place, you actually need to take the core fuel cell and actually plug it into one of the places where you got the coolant. So for that, you need to have successfully extracted one of the coolant cells, like so. So you can see, just have to move it. There we are. Just have to plug this bad boy right into this thing. And once we've done that, we actually just need to hack this bad boy one more time. So let's do that now. There we go. And we actually have to defend this. So we actually just need to defend the actual console now, rather than the generator. So in a few moments, whenever the place is actually magmatized, I'll re-record and show you what it does. So as you can see, now we've actually magmatized the place, you can see all these weird gravity bubbles all appearing. Once you walk into one of them, you can say goodbye to your energy, like so. I'll be nice and actually show you. See? That's what happens. It sucks you near them as well, so you might want to... Yeah, try hacking a console elsewhere, just in case it literally sucks you in so you can't hack the thing. You also have to hack out our blast door as well. So keep that in mind if you're gonna magmatize the place. Alright, now you can see here's the blast door controls for magmatizing the place. Same method as before for the fireplace. So once you've hacked that, that's you finished and you can head to the exit. As Lotus says there. And that's essentially all the different methods here for sabotage in the place. So if you guys like, please leave a like. If you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to share your thoughts or say what map of sabotage you prefer, please comment so below and I'll see all you nice people next time.